All you Zorgan kids, ooey stuff, ooey zard, smash the Zorgan ooeys, slice and dice, daka daka. Welcome to Casco Masterclass Part Two. Oi, me scrappy. Mm. Gasgo Masterclass Part 2. Sorry about the voice, I got caught up in the wog, but we're going to talk about his heavily battle damaged armor. I wanted to give the impression that although he receives a lot of punishment, none of it affects him. He just does not die. And that's kind of the, uh, the legend behind Gasgull. And I wanted the armor and this, this whole representation of him to reflect that, you know, as, as well as the the position I chose for the base and the model and everything, which we've seen uh, described in a blog post on my Patreon. But without further ado, let's just get to the beef. To start off, I gave him the old Zenithal overspray. Just a little uh, black over white. Sure, he's going to be mainly darkly colored, but I just wanted to kind of remember where the light was hitting all these pieces, so I was highlighting it in the right direction as I decided to start this off with the airbrush, which is why he's all in pieces. But we'll start off with just a deep gray in the airbrush. And just get every, give everything one uh, decent coat. Next up, with all of our precious pieces in play, it was time to lay down a little bit of a lighter gray. So I guess a good place to start would be the shoulder pad. So nice and light. Don't want it to be very dark and I'll uh, let that dry. Transparency will make sure things stay in that deeper gray range. But he's such a large chunky model I just wanted to acknowledge some of these dimensions before I started painting on him. Daka Daka, Mr. Thraka. Got a rough base coat on the model, just kind of separating some of the, the colors and elements, and just, you know, testing my composition and all that jazz. Um, so what I'm going to be doing is a lot of cross-hatching, just a series of tiny lines to create my highlight, my progression. I already roughly kind of have everything shaded with the airbrush, and it, it doesn't have to be that smooth because this will be all covered in a rough texture anyways, but basically the downward facing angle is dark and the upward facing chunk is gray. Let's examine this on the cube of learning first and foremost. So all I'm going to be doing, let's say that we've got a, we have a cylinder here Whatever uh, dimensions or progression I'm trying to accent, I'll be doing this with just a series of thin lines, cross-hatching back and forth, pinching our gradient a little bit tighter, moving upwards, let's get some of this decking color, deck tan. It's new, it's a little watery. So, in a nutshell, and I can also go and apply the same pattern with some black to get some more interesting intersections, but we want to be working up our texture. So on Gasgull, that is going to look more like this. So on each section it should just be covered in damage and scratches. Now before I go too crazy into all the scratches and, and dents, I also want to draw some, you know, dags and such on the model to uh, make them look a little more official, a little more important. 
I want to get a rough kind of gradient laid down on these portions as well. It'll be all battle damaged up, so you don't have to spend too much time making it perfect. And don't forget, you can always sharpen up the edges on a free hand if things look a little uh, rough. You can always work on both sides of the line. Now, once I have these uh, checkers and dags roughly filled in, I want to go and take little pieces out of the paint job, dots and scratches here and there, as superficial damage would be taking place. And there he is, all scratched and dented to uh, perfection. We'll call it good. The next step was to apply some armor wash from P3, which is present on my palette up there. I'm just going to take a little bit of water on my brush, grab from the armor wash, and start spreading this over all the black areas. If I catch some of the metal areas, that's okay, but I am saving the metallic areas for a separate video. Um, once this was all dry, I had a problem. The P3 armor wash is extremely glossy, so I don't remember it being that way. This is something old. So I threw it away, locked it up, applied two coats of a matte varnish, and luckily that corrected the mistake that had happened. Um, to replicate the same effect, maybe take a black wash with just a touch of brown paint mixed in. For the color red, I have a base coat of Vallejo Black. Kador Red right here. We'll brighten that up with a little bit more red, a little bit more orange. Then I'll be taking that mixture, adding ivory to it, and then white on top of that. And as I'm highlighting up the red portions, it's done the exact same way that the black armor was done, but just with different uh, color progressions, just many thin lines, that cross-hatching, scratchy pattern. It's really starting to yield some interesting results, and it's fun to see the model coming together. So, final highlights on the armor. Here and there, I'll go in with titanium white, just the smallest portions just capitalizing wherever there's a little intersection or scratch to kind of pick back up now that everything has been subdued by the wash a little bit kind of blended together going over it having a, a second take on things I'll even go back to some of my darker colors as I'm working around you know in these lower areas I don't want to use maximum white I'll, I'll save my brightest color for the more upward areas of the model of course on a kind of a truck of source like this it might not matter too much just take that advice with a grain of salt and use your own discretion Some areas I do want to just blend over, bring things up a bit now that they've been subdued by the wash. I'll sweep some highlights into, onto some of these peaks. Yar! There he is, coming in for a landing, a touchdown, a hammer fight. Grim dark battle of the 41st millennium. All these guns and we're still stuck on close combat. I love it. And I hope you're loving this video as much as I am. Enjoying the ride at least. Getting the armor out of the way is a big step, but we have many more steps to go. So as we go forward, never forget, I believe in you. And we have a whole world out there to paint. So, get your teeth wet.